Kentucky Senator Rand Paul announcing his plans to run for president this week. The Republican kicked off his campaign starting in New Hampshire, then South Carolina, and made an appearance in Iowa this afternoon. And following the announcement, he will be one of Bob Schieffer's guests on this weekend's edition of CBS's Face the Nation. That interview comes just days after Mr. Schieffer announced his plans to retire from CBS and the program. Bob Schieffer joins us now live from Washington with more on his retirement and upcoming interview with Senator Paul. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, thank you very much, Jennifer. And some people have asked me, you know, why did you choose now to retire? And I, I say, well, you know, I've been around so long uh, that I find myself more and more working with the children of my friends. And Sam is a good example of that. His Dad, David Dick, and I were colleagues here in the CBS News Bureau and then later uh, covered the uh, War of the Falklands down in Argentina together. We never got very close to the action. Nobody did, but we were down there, and uh, David Dick was a great guy, Sam, so it's really fun to be with both of you today. Well, thank you, and it's an honor to hear you say that. Uh, Bob, is there something you're going to miss about the business that just off the top of your head as you retire? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Uh, what I'm going to miss is being in the middle of things. You know, I love it when a good campaign gets going and, and uh, or, you know, when there's a big story going. I, I, I want to be part of it. I, I want to be the guy that asks the questions, and uh, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to miss that. But, you know, uh, I did not want to be one of these guys uh, I saw over and over again up, up on Capitol Hill. Uh, people who just didn't know when it was time to go, and they wind up being led around by their staff, and they don't know if they're on the Senate elevator or on the Senate floor. I wanted to leave when I felt I could still do the job, and I think I can still uh, do this job. And it seemed to me that uh, Face the Nation, I think, I'm prejudiced, but I think it's better than ever. CBS News is doing well, and so uh, I... Uh, I just thought this was the right time, and it'll give my uh, successor time to get settled in before next year's campaign. So that's why I decided to do it. And Paul from Kentucky coming up on Sunday's Face the Nation. What are your impressions of his first few days on the campaign trail, and what are you hoping to learn from this interview? Uh, Jennifer, uh, Rand Paul is different from the others, and you all know that very well uh, in, in Kentucky. Uh, he's a lot different from, uh, than, uh, say, Mitch McConnell, for example, the more establishment kind of Republicans. And I'm going to uh, talk to him uh, about what is his strategy? What, what does he stand for? Why is he different? Uh, and, uh, I, I, you know, I'm going to give him a chance to tell us uh, why he thinks he ought to get the Republican nomination. It's not what I think about it. It's what he is planning to tell the American people. And we'll try to get to draw that out. Having you on the broadcast, thank you very much for being with us tonight. Good luck on your retirement, and we're going to enjoy the rest of Face the Nation with you in the coming months. Thank you, sir. All right, Sam. Thanks. And there you have Bob Schieffer from CBS will be retiring soon. You can watch that interview on this weekend's edition of Face the Nation with Senator Rand Paul at 1030 Sunday morning right here on WKYT. He is a gentleman he and is. a true professional. Looking forward to that interview. Yeah.